the formidable robot. I'm sure you remember those old Caillou Gets Grounded Go Animate videos. You know, the one where everything is pre-animated, everybody speaks in weird little text-to-speech voices, Caillou would either misbehave fairly realistically, or do something cartoonishly evil or stupid. It would go from having a temper tantrum, to breaking something for fun, to burning down a Denny's and leaving no survivors. Then he would be grounded for a cartoonish amount of time, usually by his dad, Boris. Also the mom was named Doris. For the longest time by the way, I just thought that Boris was the fan-made fandom accepted GoAnimate name for Caillou's dad, and that Caillou's dad was just named Daddy or just Caillou's dad. Same for Caillou's mom being named Doris. I remember being sorta of surprised when I realized those were their actual names. Thing is, GoAnimate had to rebrand to Beyond on May 6, 2018 because of the ungodly amount of Caillou Gets Grounded videos that became what the platform was at that point. Whenever you bring up the words Go Animate, those videos would come to mind. Something always vaguely unsettled me about these videos. The expressionless text-to-speech voices, the lack of music, the strange pacing, the pre-animated expressions, and those times where somebody would yell really loud or something loud would happen, and the screen would go entirely red and the audio would be distorted to all hell which startles me from time to time. Because, you know, that's the basic human response to big scary noise oh noes. Recently I decided to rewatch some of these videos. I watched a hefty amount of videos that were created around 2014 to 2017. However, one video I had watched interested me. It was titled, Every Single One of Them. I obviously didn't understand what this meant. The video was uploaded exactly on May 6, 2018. It was also the last video on the uploader's channel. They've not posted anything since. The uploader was Tyler Sharks 38 or something along those lines. I am going to describe the video here. I accidentally deleted it from my watch history, as I was deleting all the Caillou Gets Grounded stuff from my search and watch history because I did not want my recommendations to be fried beyond belief with all that stuff. So I don't have the video, and I can't find it either. But this is what I remember. Caillou wakes up. In his dumb little text-to-speech voice, he says. Wow. Today is going to be a great day. Caillou just stares into space with the happy expression for a bit before sitting up from his bed. This is when I noticed that the GoAnimate logo was flickering in and out throughout the video. He speaks again. I should go downstairs. Now, he didn't say downstairs. He said downstairs. Caillou's mom was at the bottom of the stairs in the same old living room from all of the videos. She supplies him with his backpack, and he goes to school. It jump cuts to a black screen with white text reading, at school. Caillou was in class. The teacher was just reading out the Pythagorean theorem. Caillou suddenly screams out, Boring, at the top of his lungs. And by screaming, I mean they just typed boring into the TTS and made everything red and really really loud. Excuse me? Caillou goes to the principal's office, and just says, K-Y-S, over and over again. Later, Caillou is sent home. Caillou's dad grounds him for a cartoonishly long amount of time. Then, Caillou goes up to his room and cries. And by crying, I mean they typed WA with a random amount of A's into the TTS voice, and it ended up sounding like wa uh Come and go animate stuff. Here's where the memorable stuff comes in. After Caillou crying for a long time, the GoAnimate logo, which has been flickering in and out for the entire video, finally disappears for good. After a bit of awkward silence after the crying ends, Caillou looks up, still crying. He stops for a bit. Suddenly, his eyes looked down. Wait, where's the watermark? The sky behind the window in the background starts flickering in and out of blackness. We cut to Caillou's parents in the living room, the sky now flickering. Caillou's mom speaks to Caillou's dad. Something feels wrong. Caillou's mom says. Like what? Boris responds. Something should have happened by now. I'm not saying I don't like it, but it seems like nothing has been happening at all today past Kalo doing that. 
I'm probably just overthinking things. Probably. Silence in the room, until Boris notices the outside. What the hell is happening outside? Boris, what are you? Oh my god. What the hell? Their faces changed to the scared expression. I was very interested at this point. I was in no way expecting this from a Caillou Gets Grounded Go Animate video out of all things. I also felt a little dumb for being an ironically interested in this. We cut to Caillou in his room again. We see Caillou crouched down, inspecting the space where the watermark used to be. We suddenly hear a loud knock on the door. Caillou instinctively goes back to sitting on the edge of his bed. Caillou's parents burst in. Boris does not look angry, but just concerned. Kalu, something is very wrong. Where's the watermark? Caillou's mom looked down and paused. What the hell? The watermark. How does that even happen? Boris looks down as well, and just stares in confusion. The hell? Boris speaks up. We came here because we think something bad is happening. Something is happening outside. Wait, what? What's happening outside? Caillou responds in his high-pitched TTS voice. We don't know, just come look outside. Caillou had a concerned look on his face. Cut back to the living room. Everybody walks in, and Caillou looks outside. Oh my god, what's going on? Like we said, we know what's happening just as much as you. Caillou's mom says. What would happen if we went outside while this was happening? I don't think it's safe to go outside now. Doris says. Maybe we could see without going outside. Boris walks out of frame. Doris asks what he's doing, and he reassures her that she doesn't need to worry. Boris comes out with a pin, and opens the door. He carefully drops the pin onto the ground outside, and once it flickers into black, it suddenly disappears. Once everything flickers back to normal, the pin is gone. That can't be good, says Boris. He crawls backwards and closes the door again. What are we supposed to do now? Asks Doris. This stuff has probably gotten on the news by now. Turn on the TV. Replies Boris. The TV turns on, and we see somebody reporting the news. Breaking news. Something is happening outside, and it is currently dangerous to go outside until further notice. Stay inside. We cut to the news reporter, only for them to notice something off in the distance. After a long pause with a confused face, they speak up. Who the hell is that? We hear the sound of very loud footsteps, being cut off before we can see whatever is sprinting at the guy. Get away from me! The screen goes to static, then a technical difficulties screen. What just happened? Doris asks. A long pause without any answer is given. Everybody has a concerned and scared look on their faces. Caillou breaks the long silence, and asks. Daddy, what's happening? More silence. I... I don't know. Suddenly, the outside stops flickering, and everything outside of the house goes black. Boris notices this. Oh shit. What Boris? Asks Doris. Everything outside is gone. Another long, uncomfortable pause. Oh my god, Rosie. She isn't here. Boris immediately runs away into the distance, and into Rosie's room. Thankfully, she's there. He assures everyone that Rosie is okay. Rosie speaks in a higher-pitched TTS voice, just repeating, bah, 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 with the crying animation on repeat. Thank God, Doris says. A black screen with white text appears, reading, three weeks later. I expected the screen to fade to something horrible or sad, but the family seemed to be in good shape despite the fact their house was in a black inky void. They looked calmer than before, but they still didn't look happy, obviously. Must have had a good amount of food in the pantry, I guess. Caillou is drawing on some leftover paper to cleanse his boredom, and Rosie is sleeping in Boris's arms. Boris speaks up. How long do you suppose this is going to last? Doris asks what he means, and he explains that he feels as though he doesn't know if they are ever gonna get out of the black void. Suddenly, in the middle of the conversation, a loud knock on the door is heard. 
Everybody stops and looks scared. Caillou stops drawing and looks over confused, Rosie opens her eyes for a bit and then goes back to sleep, and Boris gets up slightly with a joyful look on his face. Doris, scared look on her face, probably wondering how the hell anybody else is out there and suspects it's not a person but something dangerous, looks concerned. I'd be too. Probably ain't a person. Doris yells out and attempts to get Boris to stop. Wait. I don't think you should open that door. The hell are you talking about? I haven't seen another human for a concerning amount of time. I am opening that door. Boris, please. He opened the door. Instead of being sucked out like a black hole, being disappointed or stepping out and disappearing, he is met with something that confuses me. A beyond character. Not go animate, but a character after the rebrand. You know, the more angular simplistic look. It was three men in white suits, smiling. Boris only responds with, Oh my god yes, other people, come inside. The suited men don't respond, but they oblige. They simply sit around and wander in random directions. Boris tries to speak to them various times, only for them to just walk past him and have their own conversation. And by that, I mean they just made facial expressions and mouth movements at each other as if talking. Suddenly, Doris looks outside, only to see the various men in suits walking in single file lines. Honey, look. There's more people. Everybody has a joyful expression, but Caillou, also joyful, asks a question. Why are none of them speaking? Boris responds with that he doesn't know. Caillou gets some more paper and asks them to write on them in order to have an actual conversation. Everybody cheers him on. However, despite the idea working, they only wrote simple responses. Even when Doris encouraged them to write a bit more, they simply wrote, We don't feel like it, with a little smiley face. But one of them specifically wrote Vyond in big orange letters, and would not write anything else. Every time it showed the paper, it just cut to a white screen with the message typed on. However, Boris realized something. Wait, if they were able to walk around out there, we probably can too. Boris was very happy, and I would be too. He does so, and no danger is met. He is perfectly fine. He tells his family this, and they all become happy. They all decide to go for a walk in the void, and the camera angle never changes. We are again met with the suited Vyond guys. One of them passes over a piece of paper to the other. It cuts to a white screen to show the paper. The plan is almost complete. They have been fooled. Cut to the rest of the family walking around in the void. As they walked around, they found various things. A lamp, a mug, the pen from earlier, and what seems to be a pool of blood with brain matter and one eyeball inside of it, in that order. They immediately ran away as soon as the blood was visible. Boris told everybody about the blood stains they found. The Beyond guys didn't react. They just walked forward, and didn't stop. The family backed up. Hey, what are you doing? Aren't you concerned about the blood stains we found? Boris asked. The Beyond guys closed the door to the house behind them and kept walking forwards. However, one of the Beyond guys caught his attention. Sure cocked mine, that's for sure. All of them stopped suddenly. One stepped forward in front of the others, and walked to the front of the group. No, you can't be. Boris said, not getting to finish his sentence. He just stared in horror, for good reason. The middle beyond guy's neck snapped, but he didn't collapse. Foam pours from his mouth, and his arms start to stretch out, becoming longer as the sounds of bones cracking are heard. His skin turns sickly gray, and his eyes turn into black holes. His smile shifts into a frown. His fingers looked broken and wrung, all pointing in different directions. The other Vyond guys' mouths began to slowly open as black eye cords ripped from their eyes. The now monstrous Vyond guy begins to speak, in a raspy, deep, and gurgling voice. You are a fair He slowly shifts his mutilated hand upwards, before the fingers in that hand all instantly go back to normal. His pointer finger rises, pointing at the family. He says one more thing. Class. The other Vyond guys start screaming like hyenas and charge at the family, one of them grabbing Boris's throat before the screen cuts to black. 
Suddenly, after a long silent black screen pause, an image began to fade in. An image of Caillou. It didn't look anything like GoAnimate. The uploader probably drew it themselves, possibly in Microsoft Paint. It displayed Caillou on a black background. His whole body looked as though he were standing in the shadows. He had a gaping mouth, and only one eye. The eye was located in a way bigger socket. The eye looked as though it were glowing. It was yellow. His nose was not drawn. The rest of him looked like how it usually does. White text was next to Caillou's ghost-like appearance. Goodbye go animate. Hello beyond. After a few moments of the image staying on screen, the beyond watermark appeared where the go animate watermark once was. I didn't screenshot it when the beyond watermark appeared, but I got a screenshot nonetheless. I got a screenshot of the video just for the sake of screenshotting it. Now, this is the only proof that the video exists. If anybody has it, please send it. And don't send a virus. I have an ungodly amount of antivirus software on my computer, so don't even try. But if anybody has the video and can send it to me, please do. I want to bring attention to this video, because it was very interesting and surprisingly well made. I also just wanted to know why the creator stopped uploading. I don't blame them. I wouldn't want to make Caillou gets grounded videos for my whole life either. But something is telling me it's something else. Something way more than what I can imagine.